Hi guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a Zara haul and it's going to be the first video in my Fashion Mumbler haul week. So every single day this week I'm going to be doing a haul. I've got loads of amazing uh, hauls planned for you guys ranging from Topshop River Island like a high street haul, we've got some premium pieces as well, even a Primark haul um, and then all the way up to like a Netta Porter haul as well. So loads and loads of fashion content coming your way this week. If you don't want to miss any then please do hit the subscribe button down below. So we're kicking things off with Zara and I find that Zara is a really good place to start when you're looking for new season trends because they tend to pick up on the trends really really quickly and they have a very quick turnaround from catwalk to high street so Zara is probably the one that has the most autumnal trend pieces in at the moment this whole week obviously we're in a very weird time of year at the moment it is still technically summer here in the UK in fact it should be the peak of summer but as it is today we're getting a lot of grey rainy days so we're already starting to think about autumn so for the whole of this whole week most of the whole are going to be transitional pieces starting to ease us in to autumnal wear. Also before I get started just to let you know how these hauls are going to work I'm going to be doing a try on haul for every single video this week and everything that you see in all of the hauls will always be linked down in the description box below so just click show more and you'll see not only links to where you can buy the pieces that I'm mentioning the hauls but also bits and bobs that I'm wearing, um, this jumper, this lipstick, my jewellery will all be linked down below even stuff in the background like the mirror and the rails so any information that you want from the videos just check in the description box. Okie dokie, so today we are kicking off haul week with Zara and I visited the Zara on Regent Street, I find that's a really good one, it has a great mix of pieces and doesn't have terribly bad customer service, normally I just get quite angry in Zara but that one in the Kings Road one I don't find too bad so let's get straight stuck in there, I'll show you what I picked up. This first piece I have actually already worn and tried on um, and I featured it in a lookbook which becomes your way very soon. It is this autumnal coloured maxi dress. It does have a slip inside um, which used to be attached but I actually pulled it out because the straps on the slip dress which and this colour is going to come in really really handy. The straps are far too long so it was showing my bra um, and I pulled it out so that I'd remember to cut these straps and make them a little bit shorter because they're not adjustable but the dress does come with this nude pink slip which is going to come in very very handy and I always just keep slips like that in my wardrobe. The dress itself is this gorgeous kind of like fawny green colour. I've even still got the sleeves inside out, bear with me. <laughs> I must have taken this off in a rush. But I thought these colours were really, really beautiful. Obviously it's quite sheer as you can see, um, but when you have got something on underneath it, it's the most beautiful, I would call this like a really earthy green. And then you've got these very rich coloured flowers all the way throughout the dress. It's got a cinched in waist, which is created with this um, smocking effect. And then you've also got the smocking on the sleeves as well. So you can either either have this dress as a full length long sleeve or you could really pull them up and create a bit of a balloon um, sleeve effect which is very much in trend at the moment. Lengthwise this one comes to kind of halfway between my ankle and my knee so mid calf area which is definitely the length of the season for this autumn winter coming up. I did actually do a video yesterday on Sunday which is all about autumn winter 2017 trends to be aware of and I mentioned uh, midi length maxi dresses. Does that make sense? Midi length maxi dresses? You guys know what I mean. I mentioned that is one of the trends to look out for so if you do want to swat up on the upcoming trends and I'll leave that video linked here and also down in the description box so definitely check that one out but yeah this was actually the piece that was on the mannequin that drew me into the store and led to my Zara haul so big fan of that one this next piece is actually another key autumn trend in that it contains fringing. It's a suede effect jacket and I just absolutely love Zara jackets. I find them really good for like transitional time of year especially because they're not hugely warm but they do just give you plenty of covering. This one as you can see is this gorgeous like stony colour and then you've got the fringing hanging from the sleeves which is a really nice effect. Absolutely adore this colour. It's so nice this time of year especially when you do want something around your shoulders just keep you a little bit warmer in the evenings and in the daytime. Time, but you're not ready for a full on coat just yet. It has got a zip all the way from the bottom to the top but yeah absolutely love this coat, really gorgeous colour and I think I'll be getting a lot of wear out of it. Next up is a blouse and just because it's autumn winter does not mean I'll be ditching the pink anytime soon. This is a dusky pink which I think is a really lovely way of wearing pink in the autumn if like me you're also not ready to say goodbye to pink. I picked this up in an extra small everything unless I state otherwise it's going to be in the smallest size possible. Possible. and I normally find Zara extra small is a good size for me. This has, it's kind of like a silky material and then it's got a paisley pattern that's kind of been ironed on there. 
fairly sheer, but I don't think you'd need a specific vest top underneath. Obviously, if you want a little bit of extra warmth, then a vest top wouldn't go amiss but it's really not too sheer when it's not being held up against the light. I picked this one up with it in my mind that I was gonna wear it with a high-waisted suede skirt, uh, white trousers it would also look really lovely with, and also as a layering piece, if you imagine this with maybe a faux fur gilet or even a feather gilet, that's another trend we're gonna be seeing a lot of this coming season, and a big wide belt to cinch everything in. I thought that'd be a really lovely way of adding a bit of the kind of boho granny trend into your wardrobe. So this piece was actually styled with that blouse in the store, and I thought it was culottes but actually it's a skirt so this is again a blush pink skirt it does have an asymmetric hem which is another of autumn's trends and it looks like it's going to fit really nicely around the waist got quite a lot of darts in there so hopefully fairly figure hugging um, and by the way this one was only 19.99 so a really nice way of injecting a little bit more femininity into your wardrobe without spending too much money nice and affordable and then this is a really great transitional piece it is a t-shirt but it's made with a really lovely thick almost like a woolen material it feels really cozy and it's covered in pearls which I just thought was a really lovely design detail this one was $25.99 a little bit more pricey but still very affordable and you know when you go into a store and you pick something up and you just know that it's the kind of piece you're going to wear so 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 much it's going to be one of those pieces I reach for on many occasions it's so comfy that I can imagine myself working from home wearing this with some really cozy jeans perhaps if you work in an office and you want something a little bit more cash for dress down Fridays or if your office has a bit more of a relaxed vibe to it then this is just a really super piece I think it's really great for those days when it's cold outside but yet your office has heating so um, yeah really nice transitional piece that I will definitely be wearing a lot. And then the last clothing piece that I picked up was this pair of jeans. I find the Zara jeans fit me really well. They are very good quality for the price. These again, $25.99. I got them in a size 34 waist. And they're pretty plain jeans, but then they do have quite an interesting hem. And I'm really obsessed with hem detail at the moment. Hems are a really good way of um, just differentiating your jeans from the usual straight up and down. So this almost has like a double frayed hem, which I think should be a really nice design detail high-waisted as well, high-waisted skinny jeans, just never going to be going out of style. And um, yeah, I just find that Zara jeans, they have a great elasticity content, so they fit really beautifully, and they don't fade or lose their elasticity the more you wear them. So a big, big fan of Zara denim. And then finally, and this is a piece I'm so, so happy with, absolutely adore these, I got this set of earrings with the little leaves on them. I say little, quite big, but they are fairly light. I always really worry about wearing anything that could be too heavy, I like to wear just like studs or small things most of the time but I think in winter if you have got clothing up to your neck especially a high roll neck or a really high neck jumper like um, like something along these lines then it's just really nice to accessorize with something on your ears especially a statement earring perhaps a big chunky necklace but I'm more of an earring person than a chunky necklace person at the moment I prefer to keep my necklaces quite delicate so for something like this plain jumper very chic and perhaps having your hair up in a chignon or a messy bun this will just look absolutely lovely they were were also only 9.99 which I thought was really good I think across the UK high street you can barely get any earrings for 9.99 instead of this lovely and I think that if you told someone that these were really expensive like from net a or something they would probably believe you so big big fan of those and that's everything that I picked up in my pre-autumn transitional Zara haul hope you guys really enjoyed looking through those pieces with me I'm very very happy with everything that I picked up and I think I'll be getting a lot of use out of them I'd love to know what autumn trends you guys are most looking forward to so let me know in the comments below what trends you're excited to wear or if there are any that you've seen that you're really not going to be taking part in at all but I feel like these pieces are really wearable but with a touch of trend um, trend ledness in there as well so yeah very happy with my bits and bobs I hope you guys will join me for the rest of haul week so make sure you are subscribed if you want to see more fashion haul videos from me there's also going to be lookbooks more trend videos and the odd bit of beauty travel and lifestyle content as well here on my channel so love to have you back and if you enjoyed this one then please give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in my next one bye